Yo, what up? Watch this. That is my A7 III. And that is my computer screen as a 15 inch monitor. We're gonna talk about how to connect your Sony camera to your desktop to create a monitor like this, which is perfect for your cameras like your A7 III that doesn't have a pop-up screen. But first and foremost, welcome to Creative Tech Lab. My name is Leo. This is the YouTube channel to accompany our website, creativetechlab.com, where we do talk about all things creative. Today is Thursday, which means it's a three minute Thursday. We try and tackle a topic in three minutes when I start the timer. Big up to everybody that has subscribed thus far. I'm always humbled when people take the time to go down below and mash up those buttons. This is probably your first time here. All it is that I ask is that you give the video a chance to watch it. And if you find it helpful, find it useful or entertaining in any way, shape or form, go ahead and hit up those buttons down below like YouTubers always tell you to do as it helps us to create more content that's useful or hopefully useful to you here on the platform. All right, so I recently did a video on the Sony Imaging Edge app on the phone and how to connect your Sony Alpha cameras from the phone to the camera. That is super useful when you're out in the field and when it is that you're trying to transfer images on the fly, as I said before, for social media. However, one of the main things that I use it for, particularly now that I have a Sony camera like the a7 III that doesn't have a flip up screen, is to frame up shots like this when it is that I'm doing talking head or vlogging or something like that. And that is very useful in terms of just checking the framing, but it's very limited in terms of the actual things displayed on the screen, in terms of display settings, there's no histogram, there's none of that stuff. So I recently was trying to do something else and set up the Imaging Edge app and realized that it had a ton more features and actually liked it a little bit more in a setting like this when I have my light set up and everything there because I can make a way bigger screen and see myself way better than I can on the phone. So we're gonna get into that here right now. So let's put three minutes on the clock like we said for three minute thursdays and let's get into it right now so the first thing we need to do is download the app we're going to skip searching the app store because it's not easy to find there search google for sony imaging edge mac it is going to be this link right here i also have that link down below for you guys and then you're going to choose download and you're going to choose your platform mine is mac it's going to download here i'm going to open up the dmg file it's verifying checking volumes blah 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 all right then you're going to run the package and it's going to ask you a whole bunch of prompts here that you need to go continue continue agree continue agree install enter your password on your mac it's gonna do its thing install was successful close so now when i come into my computer oops i can go to imaging edge app and you're gonna see it's gonna have the remote app which is what we're looking for there you also need to download the individual app so there's a separate apps for um, remote viewer and edit so that's a separate download. It's gonna do similar thing like it did before. It's gonna download a DMG file. It's gonna verify, do its thing. All right, you're gonna install this one here. Same prompts, same privacy stuff that comes up there. Continue, agree, continue, agree. Install with your password. I don't need to keep that there, so I moved that to the trash. All right, so then we're gonna come back into our launch pad. And now that you see, we have all these three apps in addition to the Imaging Edge app. The remote app is what we're looking for in this instance. And you're gonna see that it's there right now. It's saying it's not connected. Now we need to jump into the camera to do some camera settings there. All right, so I'm behind the camera here. What we're gonna to wanna to do is go to menu. We're going to go to our setup folder, which is the one with the briefcase going to go to the fourth page and you're going to go to USB connection and you're going to go PC remote. Usually this would be set to auto or mass storage. You don't want it to do that because then the computer when you plug it in is going to try and read it like a hard drive and it won't work. You want to set that to PC remote. Plug in the USB cord to the multiport. 
All right, now that I have my remote camera up here, it's gonna give you a prompt right here. You're gonna double click, that's the camera, it's waiting on a response from the camera, it's connecting. We'll give it a chance here just to connect real quick. And then, boom, look at that. We have ourselves a 15 inch monitor. So as you could see here, if you've ever seen the other video that I did, you, again, you had very limited settings in terms of what you're able to control or see here. But as you could see here, I have my histograms down here. I could see I have um, the file names that I could do here. I have my white balance that I could change, JPEG, fine, aspect ratio, um, manual control, shutter speed. I have a full range of stuff. And more importantly, if I full screen this here, I have a big monitor. So yeah, is this perfect? No, it's not perfect, but it is better than using the phone screen as I had mentioned there before. You get all those settings like I showed you up on the screen, which is pretty awesome. And again, you get a great big monitor there. Couple things to note, if you do use Final Cut or another program similar to it like I do, if you have that open when you try to connect the camera to the computer it will override that and still try to read it as a drive and therefore the pc remote mode that the sony app is looking for will not go through so make sure you shut that down before you connect the camera the other thing there is face detection autofocus will not work when it is that you're connected to the app on the computer just like when it is that you're connected to the app on the phone i'm not 100 percent sure why that is um but it seems like a thing with sony where face detection autofocus there so you just kind of have to be mindful of that still have autofocus but it might not grab your face as accurately or as often as you need it to but you have a nice big monitor screen there and that's how you connect your sony alpha camera to your computer to give you a monitor for your a7 III or like your a6500 or your older sony cameras that don't have a flip up screen but i'm not gonna ramble on here like i normally do if this video helped you out in any way, shape, or form, please go ahead and drop it a like. Share it with your other Sony Alpha creative friends. Check out some of the other videos that we have there on the channel. And if you like those, then go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notification button. Do all the things where YouTubers tell you to do at the beginning and at the end of videos. There's a ton of Sony content and a lot more to come on lens reviews and bodies and all that stuff. And a little bit more tips and tricks like this as well. So I will not ramble on and I will catch you in the next video. Hopefully I see you soon. Stay safe out there. Stay creative. Peace.